In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use Tableau's new make point and make line functions in order to build directional maps. So this example here is showing each airport and every flight or every route that goes out of that airport. So I'm going to show you how to build this using those two functions. So in Tableau, let's go ahead and connect to a file that has all of our airline routes in it. And when I connect to this file, you'll see that I have my origin latitude and longitude and my destination latitude and longitude. So what I want to be able to do is to connect these two together. So if I go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and rename this as my airline routes. And let's go ahead and go to a new sheet. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create points for each of those combinations. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. So I'm going to call this my uh, origin point. And we're going to use the make point function. And you'll see what this tells you to pass is going to create a spatial object based on the latitude and longitude. So I'm going to use my origin latitude and my origin, oops, origin longitude. And hit OK. And now if I double click on that, you'll see that I have basically a list of airports. When I hover over these, if I go ahead and put origin airport onto detail, you'll see I now have the, uh, so it looks like some of these, there we go, the Atlanta airport. So, but what this is doing is it's actually um, aggregating them all together and taking the average. So let's create another one for our destination. So I'll call this my destination point. And again, I'm gonna use my make point function. So this would be my destination latitude, my destination longitude. Okay, great. So we have that now. And the next thing we want to do is, let me just go ahead and clear the sheet for now. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a line that connects my origin point and my destination point. So I'm going to call this my, uh, my route. And what I'm going to put here is I'm going to use the make line function. And you'll see it says the start point and the end point. So this is going to be my origin point and then my destination point. And I hit OK. <clears throat> and now again, I have a new, I have a spatial object. I'm going to go ahead and double click on route. And now we get every route in this data set. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the lines black and make them really thin so we can see it a bit better. Okay, and I'll also get rid of any borders that might be on there and reduce the opacity. Okay, something like that. Okay, maybe a bit more. All right, so now, but you'll notice when I hover over, uh, I only, it, it all kind of highlights the whole block. And if I look down on my bottom left, you'll see I only have one mark in the view. So that's not showing me every airport. So I'm actually going to create, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put origin airport onto detail. And now I have 191 marks because I have 191 origin airports. So when I come up here, you'll see the origin is Atlanta. Um, so, you know, you can kind of hover over and get to the airport of your choice. So I can't make the size any smaller. All right. So what I might do here from here is use Tableau's new vector maps. So I'm going to go up to map and then map layers. And we're going to change this to maybe my outdoors map. And now I have a much better looking map than I did previously. So it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave it. And, uh, you know, you can even wash it out a bit if you want. It's totally up to you. So uh, maybe I'll wash it out about 25 percent or is good enough. There we go. And now so I've gone ahead and created routes. And what's nice is you get the arcs in the data set as well. But I don't want to be able to see all these. I want to be able to click on an airport and have it drill in to those flights. So to do that, I'm going to create a set and use set actions. So I'm going to right click my origin airport and create a set. So I'm going to call this my uh, airport set. And I'll just start with Atlanta. I don't have to pick anything here, but I'm going to. And I'm going to drag that onto my filters. And you'll see it just filters down to the Atlanta airport. But what I, be, what I want to be able to do is I want to have the view update dynamically. So I'm going to go up to uh, Worksheet, Actions. And I'm going to create a, uh, an action that changes the set values. So I'm going to call this Update Airport. 
and my target set is going to be my airport set. And then when they deselect, I wanted to add all values back to the set. So in other words, show me all options. Hit OK again. And now when I click Atlanta and then I click off, uh, I get all airports. And again, I can continue doing that. So you'll see it drills in nice and neat. So if I can maybe find a smaller airport, you see it's a bit tough to find a smaller airport, maybe this one here, whatever BTV is, you'll see the map zooms in nice and neat. And I could see each of the routes there, but you notice I can't see the actual route code itself. So let's see if I uh, go ahead and create a new calculated field. I'm gonna call this my route details. And if I put origin airport plus, um, uh, let me just put a hyphen between them, plus my destination airport and hit OK. And if I put that onto my tooltip, I can now see the, okay, so it says route details is star. That's because it's trying to show more than one. So let me take that back off and let's put that onto the route details. And uh, now what I've done, the problem now is if I go to, uh, you'll see I just get each, I just get one single line. So if I wanna see all of the lines for the particular airport, I need to not have route details on there. So you see my number of marks. Let me go, let me go back again. If you see, once I put the route details onto the view, if I look down here on the lower left, you'll see I have 3,568 marks. That's because there's that many routes in the data set. If I take it back off, then we're back to 191 marks, which is the number of airports in the data set. So I can pick, you know, maybe this airport here, uh, Detroit, and there we go. So when you hover over a line, it gives you the details for that particular airport. So I think it looks pretty neat. So that's Duluth, Minnesota. All right, so that's one example, but let's let's look at a different one. Let's think about uh, a London bus map and buses have routes along the way. So let me start by creating a new data set and I'm gonna hit more and uh, it's called my bus sequences. And you'll see here, I just have uh, latitude and longitude and what I'm missing is that uh, destination latitude and longitude. So you see, I just have the route number, the sequence, the stop name, latitude and longitude. So really what I need is two more columns on here. So let me show you what this looks like to start. So if I do my latitude and my longitude and put every stop onto the detail and then the sequence, let's put the route. So route and sequence should both be dimensions, put uh, route on detail. And now we can see every single bus stop. So let me go ahead and shrink those down a bit. There we go. So now we can see kind of what looks like a uh, London uh, bus route. Now I could change these to lines. Uh, let's see if I do that and I do a sequence and what does that look like? So you see how they kind of go all over the place. So let me swap these around. Yeah, nothing really works. So what I want, need to be able to do is um, the reason this doesn't work is because I don't have start and end points. So let me go ahead and clear the sheet and we're gonna go back to my data source. So what I need to do is if I zoom in, in here, so for this first route, I need to be able to have two more columns on the right hand side. And for sequence one, my destination needs to be the latitude and longitude from sequence two. So we can do that with the calculation. So I'm gonna go ahead and join the data to itself. And the first thing I wanna join is the route so that I know those are the same. But then I'm gonna create a calculated join. So in the uh, primary, I'm gonna say, I wanna add one to my sequence. So sequence plus one. And then on the right-hand side, I'm just gonna choose my sequence. So now if I clean this up a bit, I don't need route and sequence. Uh, so let me hide route and I don't need, uh, so you see here, my first, my first row says, uh, it's the first sequence, my latitude and longitude are these, but my, my uh, columns I've added is the next stop. So it's Museum Street, which you'll see is this next row down. So I've kind of done a multi-row, uh, I've kind of done what's equivalent to a multi-row formula in Alteryx. I've brought up an additional row. Okay, so I can hide this uh, second sequence and uh, maybe I'll just leave the rest there for now. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm going to rename these just so I know which which is which. So I'm gonna rename this as my start, um, and I'm gonna rename this one uh, start lat. I'm gonna rename this one as my oops undo. Rename this as my start lawn. Oops, again I renamed it. So let me just double click and lawn. And then this one is going to be my destination. So dest lat. 
and then this one will be my dest long. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna follow the same thing I did with the airline route. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new calculated field. So this will be my start point. And I'm gonna use the make point option. And I'm gonna put my start lat and then my start long. And if I double click on that, because it's a spatial object, now you'll see all of my starting points. So let me go ahead and reduce the size of those a bit. Uh, maybe make them, I'll use red because that's like the TFL colors. Maybe reduce the capacity, get rid of the borders. There we go. So now we've got a series of dots uh, and I need to create my end point now. So let's create another calculated field. I'm gonna call this my end point and I'm gonna use the make point function. And this is going to be my end lat. Oops, what did I call it? My destination lat, my destination longitude. There we go. So now I've got both of those and I wanna go ahead and create a new calculated field that's gonna connect those together. So this would be my route. Uh, I'm going to call it my route line. I'm going to do a make line function, and this is going to be my start point and my end point. There we go. So let me clear the sheet and double click on my route line. And now we have our routes. So very good. So you see it's all just one mark now. If I look at the bottom left, it's all one mark because I haven't told the view how to split up my new spatial lines. So let me go ahead and again, I'm gonna switch these to red, uh, get rid of the border and uh, maybe reduce the uh, size. So if I click on size, oops, sorry. If I click on size and shrink those down, we got something that looks much more like the route. Okay, so again, this is all one blob. So I need to put the route onto detail and we can see we just get each individual route highlighted. Okay, so again, I can go up to my map options and map layers, or I'm sorry, my map, uh, and maybe this time I want to use the streets. And now I can see the uh, the streets of London. So I want to put turn on streets and highways, maybe get rid of some of the borders, uh, subway stations, house numbers. I don't really need any of that. Um, so I'm actually going to maybe increase the opacity again, because you see it's kind of conflicting with the background map. Um, so you can, you can try lots of different things here. So uh, maybe I'll change the color so they stand out a bit more. There we go. So now we can see the, the bus routes a bit better. And again, we could do that same option of using set actions to drill into a particular route. So let's right click on our route field and choose uh, create set. And I'm gonna call this my route set. And hit okay. And now I'm gonna create a worksheet action and I'm going to add an action, which is a change set values. I'm going to call this update route set. I want to do it on select and the set I want to update is route set. And I want to go ahead and put all values back once they deselect. So hit OK. Hit OK again. And now if I click on a route, it'll, uh, let's see. So I need to put the route set onto filters. And now if I click a route set, it's going to zoom into that route. There we go. And if I go down here maybe and pick another one, you'll see it zooms in on that route. So very good. So uh, the 65 is a route that used to take a lot. And there we go. So we can see that route. So uh, again, hopefully you found that helpful. So that's using our make point and make line functions. If you need these data sets, um, if you, this is going to be a package workbook, you'll see the link in the blog to the, uh, the workbook. And you can just download the workbook, unzip it. Uh, so it is a TWBX, but if you unzip it, you will then see the data files inside of that. So if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Otherwise, have a great day.